Ahoy! This is Zdenka. They took away the snow from me, <laughs> but it's coming back. Another snowstorm should be happening tomorrow. Well, don't get that for you though, because it's still winter. <sighs> Minus seven today, so I'm on the beach, the warmest spot. And I have my favorite tools here. DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal and Android Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and few filters in my backpack. In today's episode, we're gonna be filming B-roll in DJI Mimo. We're gonna look at the newly added feature, the spin shot. I'm gonna show you how you can do spin shot transition. And I'm also gonna show you how you can switch between the modes so you don't have to tap on the screen anymore, but you can do that through your gimbal. That's all we're gonna be doing today. By the way, this video is filmed at 30 frames per second. Canon M50 is right now filming at 30 frames per second because the B-roll I'm gonna be showing you is done in DJI Mimo and it films at 30 frames per second. So I wanted to make it the whole thing as one. So no more 24, it's 30 frames per second, just in case you see a little bit different result. are new here welcome my name is Zden Karola if you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and participate in creative camera challenges consider subscribing I want to capture this place as it is right now so I'm gonna be doing a lot of overall shots I'm gonna be doing a lot of close-up shots just like I would be visiting some vacation spot or some place and I want to film a b-roll for myself so I can keep it as a memory that's my goal today there is one thing which is bothering me on DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal and that's the fact that I simply cannot press the buttons to switch between tilt lock mode and follow mode DJI Mimo app the default setting is set so you have to tap on the screen or go to the menu to switch that however there is a way to do it so you can actually switch the modes by moving the joystick let me show you how so let's turn on the gimbal let's go to dji mimo and now as we are in a dji mimo go to the settings so tap those three buttons on the left bottom corner you will get to gimbal settings and you will see press m button right now press m button is set to switch photo recording press on that and change it to quick menu close the settings now when we press the m button we will pull out another menu where we see video photo and stuff like that so when you're in a video mode by joystick moving it to the right you can switch between follow mode tilt lock mode fpv spin shot i'm gonna go back to follow mode and move the joystick left and now when i press the m button again the menu is gone so i'm ready to film to do those first overall shots of this place but there are a few things i need to do first of all i want to make sure that my white balance is set not to auto but to sunny because i don't want i don't want the colors to shift on me to change them so i go to settings and i change it from auto to sunny the next thing i want to do is lock the brightness tap anywhere on the screen until you see the yellow square with the sun and once you like the brightness just tap hold it until you see the lock and that will lock the brightness and now I'm just ready to film first shot I'm going to do is just walk that way and again it's tilt lock mode because I don't want it to go up and down I want to maintain the composition but I don't mind um, going the pan a little bit left and right The next shot I want to pan from left to the right. Whenever you are filming a b-roll, it is the best if you choose one-way pan. So your video is not panning to the right and then panning to the left and panning to the right and to the left and up and down. It will be all over the place. So I am going to be always panning in this b-roll from left to the right. Then I might do a little bit to the front, to the back and then close-up shots, but that's about it. I just wanted to make sure it's nice and smooth.
So the overall shots are done. I want to do some close-up shots here and I found a little bit of ice on the beach there but I don't want all the reflection in the shot so I'm using a CPL filter to block it. By the way, all the products I'm talking about are gonna be listed in the video description below so you can check it after this video. So in this one, I'm gonna press the M button and switch it to the follow mode. Those wave shots over there, I wish I could do that in slow motion, but because I'm Android user, I'm quite limited in DJI Mimo. I can't shoot there in slow motion. I would have to use regular camera app or Filmic Pro. By the way, Filmic Pro tutorial is coming out very soon. I'm working on it next week, I think. Well, now I have some overall shots finished. I also have some close-up shots of waves finished. I don't need the CPL filter right now, so it's just kind of in my pocket. I took it off, but I had to rebalance the gimbal. Every time you add on some filter, I take it off. You have to always rebalance the gimbal. My next planned shot is to go around this tree, revealing the space over there. For that, I'm gonna press the M button and go to follow mode hide again but i'm actually not gonna be shooting in follow mode what i'm gonna do i'm gonna aim at that place press the trigger as i'm holding it it will lock it the gimbal is not gonna move it's gonna be locked fixed on that location and i'm gonna hide behind a tree and again as i'm holding it i will reveal that place it will just look very nice quite big i might actually use it as one of the transitions because i was kind of hiding behind the trees i don't know yet but i still want to do the same ff effect the circling around the object so i'm gonna head down and as you are noticing i'm always kind of going with the sun so i don't film against the sun right now i just want to make sure the bureau looks kind of the same very lit up and very colorful so i'm shooting in the same direction i'm just continuing and just moving on the beach along the beach so right now i'm gonna try to find a little bit thinner trees or maybe bush or something like that or small object so i can circle around it to reveal the spot I had an anamorphic lens here today that would look nice in the sun and i think it's time to play with the uh, spin shot now spin shot is 360 degrees so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press the m button to get to the spin shot spin shot means that this gimbal will turn 360 degrees like this but as we are right now in the starting position it's not actually the start of the spin shot i have to move the joystick to the right to get it to this position so i'm gonna start at the tree the spin but i'm gonna move the gimbal this way so i am exactly with the horizon and then when i'm ready to start i'm gonna press the joystick the other way and start backing up
this shot I want to film heavily against the sun so I have my CPL filter out and I'm gonna be blocking the reflection as much as possible sorry my hands are freezing and I'm gonna start probably going straight to the sun obviously I'm gonna lock the brightness on quite dark and I'm gonna go down to the ground So now that we have all the pieces of the puzzle together, let's play the B-roll. filter I was using and also music I was using it is from Epidemic Sound the first one is for free you can find in the video description below hit the thumbs up button if you like today's video subscribe to more if you have any questions comments simply want to say hi you can do so in a comment section below and I will see everyone in the next one ciao ahoy I'm not cold I'm not frozen I'm not I'm not frozen I'm not cold nope I'm not cold I'm not cold